Oh, team keep it clean what is going on baby first and foremost got to give a special shout out to my son carter because we were literally walking out the door getting ready to take him to the park and we still gonna go right after this but he allowed me to come back real quick to make this video because i told him something important something big was happening with all baltimore ravens and he said dad it's okay so y'all make sure in the comment section y'all give a special shout a huge shout out to carter anyway yesterday it was reported from Josina Anderson that the Baltimore Ravens and I believe the Dallas Cowboys as well, that they had some interest in signing Dalvin Cook if he were to clear through waivers and become available, thus making him a free agent. What happened? He went through waivers, he became available, and he became free to sign with any team in the league. Obviously, the only teams that weren't going to sign him uh, would be the Jets and uh, probably the Vikings too. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, the, with the Baltimore Ravens, we hadn't heard anything. We hadn't heard that he was visiting them. We hadn't heard that he they were going to sign him, anything like that. But just now, it came out. That, let's just read the report straight from Adam Schefter. He says, the four-time Pro Bowl running back Dalvin Cook will sign for the playoffs with the Baltimore Ravens per his agency. Uh, the Jets paid Cook $6.8 million this season, and now he will get a chance to pursue a Super Bowl appearance with the Ravens. If you Dalvin Cook... You, you got to be thinking like, man, this is great. This is stupendous. This is amazing, man. Because seriously, you went from a possible Super Bowl contender because the Jets, they were looking good. They were making a lot of moves. They had Aaron Rodgers. You know that boy can bowl. And, and you went there, and then it was like, all right, hey, this, this team could really be something this year. But then he got hurt. Week one, like three or four plays into the game, Aaron Rodgers got hurt. It's like, ooh. Then it came out torn Achilles. Then it's like, ooh. So that's usually done for the season. Then there was some hope floating around. <gasps> Aaron Rodgers might possibly come back this year. Oh, oh, really? But things weren't really going good. The Jets were hanging around for a little bit, but then everything started to crumble. And then it was official. Aaron Rodgers wasn't coming back. The Jets have been doing pretty bad overall, and everything fell apart. You weren't getting any carries. You weren't getting any touches. You were getting no burn, no playtime, no nothing. So you were stuck in that situation just looking out like, man, Oh, I can't wait till this is over. This is not how I envision. You're just coming off of four straight thousand-yard seasons. And now your role has been reduced to pretty much nothing. And you were stuck in that situation. But now, all of a sudden, before the season is, before the regular season is even over, you end up getting released from the Jets. Jets are done. You get end up going from worst, one of the worst, to first with the Baltimore Ravens. What an opportunity that's got to be. First and foremost, I know a lot of people have continued to say Dalvin Cook is washed. He's not the same. He ain't that guy no more. He ain't got it no more. And, hey, we're going to see about all that. We're going to see about all of that. Because one thing that I'm going to tell y'all, and, and y'all know this already because y'all are extremely smart, situation has to do a lot with so much, especially when it comes to the NFL. If you are in the right situation, oh, man, things could be going great. You could be exceeding expectations. You could be balling. You could be getting all these stats, all these numbers, going to Pro Bowls, this, that, and the third. You could be going off. But if you're in the wrong situation, everything can be the exact opposite. And I just, I, I'm no expert. I'm no super X's and O's guys. I'm a fan just like we all are. But, and y'all got way more football knowledge than I do. But one thing that I think is extremely weird, how does somebody who's coming off of all these 1,000-yard seasons, you don't get 1,000-yard seasons just by chance. You got to work for those. You got to grind for those. You got to be given opportunities for those. How does somebody coming off of all these 1,000-yard seasons back to back to back to back go from that to the Dalvin Cook that we've seen this year? Well, was, was it that massive of a drop off or was there something within the organization? I, I don't know. I can't say I haven't been paying super close attention to the New York Jets like that to know. But one thing that I do know is that now his situation is changing. Now with his situation, he's not being asked to be the guy. He's not even being asked to be the next guy. He's being asked to be the next next guy. Because the Baltimore Ravens already got Gus Edwards. The Baltimore Ravens already got Justice Hill, and they already know the system. They're comfortable in that system. They also got a Melvin Gordon. He's comfortable in that system. 
But now with Dalvin Cook, he comes in, they'll bring him in, and it'll be like, oh, Dalvin Cook, no rush. Take your time. Do your thing. Hey, it'll be straight. But now what's going to happen? Because this may get a little awkward because you got Maryland native, Damascus native, Jake Funk on the practice squad right now. Former Super Bowl champion on the practice squad right now. A move got to be made to open up space for Dalvin Cook on the practice squad. So, I mean, you kind of figure, but I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they'll release Owen Wright. Maybe they'll release Jake Funk. We'll see. I would think they would lean more toward releasing Jake Funk since he just got there. Owen Wright's been there all year, but <clears throat> we'll see. Or they could have somebody else that they may have to have that very awkward and scary conversation with. Like, hey, my friend, thanks for everything. Thanks for being a part of the Baltimore Ravens, but we're going to have to release you. So with Dalvin Cook, um, it is exciting that the Baltimore Ravens are going to get Dalvin Cook. I know Dalvin Cook was somebody that a lot of people were hoping that the Baltimore Ravens would sign before the season even started. Before he even went to New York. A lot of people were hoping that the, the Baltimore Ravens would sign him. Especially because J.K. Dobbins was coming back from injury. Especially because Gus Edwards was coming back from injury. Especially because you want to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And what happened week one of the, uh, the Baltimore Ravens regular season? Week one, they lost J.K. Dobbins for the remainder of the year. Lost him for the whole season. And then a lot of people were like, see, we should have got Dalvin Cook. But the Baltimore Ravens, one thing about them, one, one thing that we know for sure about these Baltimore Ravens, they know how to get the most. If anything is left, they certainly know how to get the most out of a running back. Now, um, with Dalvin Cook, again, I think just I think it was situation. I think that's what the deal was with him. I think it was just situation. That's why he just it didn't work out with the Jets. Wasn't the best situation. Things fell apart rather quickly, and that was all she wrote. But now we're going to see. Now, now, now we are going to see. Because the Baltimore Ravens, one thing about them, they ain't afraid to take no chance, especially at no running back position. I remember a couple years ago, and it was crazy thinking about this out loud. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they signed Devontae Freeman. <laughs> they signed Latavius Murray. And they signed Le'Veon Bell. Those were their three running backs. Why? Because the Baltimore Ravens had suffered injuries to J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, and Justice Hill all in the same offseason. It was tragic. It was crazy. It didn't make no sense. It was wild. But the Baltimore Ravens, they reached inside all three of those running backs, and they got out as much as they possibly could, especially from Devontae Freeman. Because with Le'Veon Bell, he didn't make it through the whole year. So they, 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 they tried, but he didn't make it through the whole year. But the Baltimore Ravens, they, that is one of their specialties. So I'm excited to see exactly what they do with Dalvin Cook. And something to think about, too, with Dalvin Cook, something that helps make his job easier as a future Baltimore Ravens running back, Lamar Jackson. Because with Lamar Jackson, especially going into the postseason, this year he has been holding back. He's been holding back so much, especially when he takes off. And you can even tell, like, Lamar Jackson, when he's scrambling, he's playing around. He ain't going full speed. He just, and, and, and even though he's not going full speed, he's still making people miss. Still getting a bunch of yards. Still making plays happen. Still doing his thing, even though he ain't even giving it his all. But now playoff time, I expect Lamar Jackson to take it to a whole nother level. I expect Lamar Jackson to do some stuff that's going to make our jaws just drop over and over and over when we watch him play on that football field come playoff time. And I'm not saying that because I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan. I'm saying that because I've watched every single Lamar Jackson snap this season. Every single Lamar Jackson game this season. Every single Lamar Jackson throw. Every single Lamar Jackson scramble. And when you've watched every single Lamar Jackson play this year, he's been amazing, obviously. He's most likely getting ready to win his second MVP, which is insane to think about. But when you think about everything that he can do, all the attention that he takes away from a defense, all the attention that he commands from a defense. And then you think about the person who's lined up next to him and how much they benefit off of that alone. Like they could have their own skill. They could have their own skill set, their own abilities. They could have all of that, which they do. But just based off of Lamar Jackson's presence alone, you benefit from jump. So if you bring an even, even more to the, to, to the table, as far as your skills, as far as what you can do on that football field, ooh even better but again I have every reason to believe that Dalvin Cook that he still got 
something left. And he still got plenty left. But it's, of course, to be determined. But these Baltimore Ravens, <laughs> they were determined to get Dalvin Cook, and they will. So it'll be official very, very, very soon. So that is very exciting news, um, and we'll see how everything works out. But now I know Dalvin Cook from him going from one of the worst teams in the league, one of the most unsuccessful teams in the league, and now he's going to the best team in the NFL, the best record in the NFL. That's got to be amazing. 